Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about the materials we'll be using for our project. As you already know, it's made from rubber, but not regular rubber. In this case, we'll be using motorcycle tires, scooter tires, quad tires, car tires, but only the spare one, the spare tire. We can't use conventional car tires because they are made with metal as well. Even though we could make the job done with them, we couldn't be able to do it with our tools at our hands. Because those ones are metal wire built in. And in order to cut that tire, you would need a chainsaw or a very strong scissor. Which I don't recommend because the finish isn't smooth and the pieces of metal that stays in could hurt us badly. Always remember to wash the rubber with pressured water, to sanitize it, because we are going to plant in it. So it is very important to eliminate all toxic residue and possible bacteria on the rubber. So I strongly recommend washing it with high pressure water machines and a good degreaser. To work the face or the beak, which you will also need this piece of rubber that you can find on any rubber recycling workshop. These are used in trucks. This is not a tube. Has the same functionality though. It has an inflation valve so it can be inflated and fill the space between the ring and the tire itself. These are used in big, big trucks. They call it a flap, an inner flap. It is very useful. It's flexible and it's very thick at the same time and it's made with the same materials used in tires. So it is ideal for us, so we can make the beak from it. That's something that I will be showing you further, the molds and how to make them, all that. For example, we can make it all with rubber, so the whole ornament will age at the same time. We can make it from wood, and in this case, I have this piece of plastic. This kind of plastic are often used in billboards or hanging on light poles. Normally they are small, but if they are big, just make sure they are plastic and not made from aluminum. Ok, so these are all the materials you'll need for this project. Remember that you can find all of this in your nearest local tire center. You just have to talk to the owner and tell them that you're going to recycle the product. It's a way to fight this terrible issue that every country has, the rubber waste, the contamination. Ok, in this video, I will show you the tools we are going to be using. In this case, we'll be using this cutter. These are disposable blades and they're sharp enough to cut through the rubber. You will also need these flat spade cutters. In this case, a 6.35 mm and a 25.4 mm. The flat cutter is very good for our project because it creates a hole. You will need a piece of crayon or a piece of chalk in this case. A chain able to hold up to 155 pounds of weight. This is very important to our safety because the ornament we are creating is going to weigh a lot. Remember that it's going to be filled with dirt and plants. And that creates a reasonable weight, so it's very important to use a chain that can hold up. You will need a large ruler, this kind of pincers or scissors, this one uses the same blade as this cutter, this disposal blade. Once it's damaged, you can take it out and change it for a new one. This one is very useful to cut a straight or a round line. You will also need screws. This is a star screw. It doesn't have to be that large. 
maybe uh, 19 millimeters or one inch. The star head for the drill. With this one, we're not going to use the drill. So I can use my hands or even a wrench. You will need this cutting clamp for the chain, so we can choose how high our ornament will be. A measuring tape and our drill, just like this one. And this one right here is the last one. This is a plastic shopping table. It's cheap, this one is very good and disposable too. We are going to use it later to make the faces molds. Okay, so let's check our list again. This plastic shopping table, this one you can find it in any market or mall, and they're very cheap. We are going to cut through them to make our mold so we can create the face. Our measuring tape, the drill, cutting clamp to cut our chain. Remember that the chain must be able to hold up some weight. Chalk or any marker, the cutter with disposable or replaceable blades, this pincer or scissor that uses those same replaceable blades. These four inches continuous thread screws with his, his hex nut and a two inches with his hex nut as well. A 19 millimeter or an inch star screw. Our star head for the drill, so we can screw that 19 millimeter star screw. A flat spades cutters. We'll need a 6.35 millimeters and a 25.4 millimeters and our ruler very well this is all for now in this video if you liked it please give it a like and remember to subscribe and share thank you very much